And welcome to episode 39 of the Luke and Lewis uh, Show. Let me have a look. I, I can't remember. Oh, you can't remember? It doesn't really matter. Guys, welcome to the show. I'm super happy to be here. Um, I would say the best thing about being here is just being here, man. Being on time <laughs> to record the show. I would say that I'm on time yeah. uh, every time we record. Every time. Would you agree with that? Every yeah, yeah, time? Every time. Uh, Keelan, would you say that you're on time every time as well? Every time. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what time do we record? Uh, like 12. No, what time do we have to get oh, here? Oh, sorry, like 11. 11, yeah. So, and, and what time What time is it now? 11.45. 11.45. Where's Luke? Is he here? Uh, Luke's not here yet. Is he late? <laughs> Looks late. And <laughs> how many times do you think he was late? Uh, like in a row in the last couple months. He's been late every single day. Every single day. Uh, <laughs> for how long do you think? <laughs> Almost since we started. Since we started. I would agree with that. So yeah. how many episodes was that? That's About 39. 39 episodes <laughs> late in a row. Um, Luke Hidgel has been late to the show. And you know what I just decided? I decided today I've had enough of it, okay? <laughs> and that's that's how it goes. You know, sometimes you're late 39 episodes in a row and sometimes... Uh, your co-host has enough of it and starts the episode without you. So guys, welcome to the show. Luke will arrive uh, at any point. He said he would be here actually at uh, 11.45. So in three minutes, he will be double late. Yep. So, uh, hey Siri, please set an alarm for 11.45. That is now 60 seconds away. So if he's uh, not uh, here, he will be... Uh, double eight, so that's great. Okay, so we have to do a little time skip there because it's now about 11.50 and to be honest, <laughs> me talking by myself was took too long. So uh, we're currently still waiting for Luke. I've got another text saying that he should be arriving at some point. Uh, so... Hopefully he won't be triple late, but <laughs> anything can happen in this crazy world of Luke not showing up when he's supposed to show up, guys. Um, and also, what's good about this is uh, I... He was so late that I probably had time to plan the episode, but uh, I haven't. So now I'm just sitting here rambling by myself, which, you know, is kind of how I'm used to doing shit. It's just unplanned. There he is. Hello. Hey, mate. Come on in. Sit down. Welcome. You were so late, we decided to start without you. 11.50? You're a dog. Like I'm not a dog. You're a dog. We go, hey, let's show up at 11. I'm and never then... here at 11. I know. That's why we started <laughs> without you, because you've been late 39 episodes in a row. Yes. And so, welcome, mate. Thank you. Now, why are you late today? Uh, I didn't set my <laughs> alarm. Yeah, and that's all. You know what? I would say that's 30% of the reason why you're late. You know why? <laughs> why? Hi everyone, by the way. How you going? Good. Yeah. I mean, hi, like, hi, like shit. Did you say hi, Keelan? <laughs> Fuck. What's wrong with Sorry. you? I'm working with a bunch of morons. <laughs> That's the problem. This guy can't show up on time. This guy can't even say hello properly. Well, I just don't. Hey, okay, there's multiple. Would you like to know? Uh, well, I was going to say that. What did What have you stop? What's, what have you done? What do you mean? You know what you've done. I don't know what, what are you talking about? What's this? What's what? Why have you got a massive gap between your mm. sideburns and your beard? This? Oh, do you actually not know what I was talking about? No, what are you talking about? <laughs> What's that? You've never had that before. This? Yeah. Oh, no, because I do do that on purpose. I do have that. It looks awful the first day I do it. But all of the, my beard? Barely like is there, kind yeah. of patchy. But this area between my ear and my chin, yeah, is so patchy that it's not even worth having. So <laughs> I get rid of like, it. It looks like someone shaved like this way. That's all that's around. what's happened. Yeah, like that's what's happened. There's like a ring. You look like satin. That's exactly what's happened. Yes, that's wild. Yeah. Anyway, I don't like coming here, mm. right? And that's yeah. for various reasons. Not you two. I like this show. What's up with your knuckles? Have you been punching? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> have you got into a fight? No, no, no. no. But, uh, I was. Uh, I have a punching bag at home in my uh, weld home gym. Right. Yeah. Do you have gloves? No, that's the thing. I I realized they're cheap gloves. <laughs> like <laughs> no, I, I shot. Well, you look like you've you're, you've yeah. been in Fight Club. I usually only um I was gonna talk about this. I usually only like do maybe like a couple of minutes on the bag. I did yeah. I did like a whole boxing session. Yeah. Right, because I have a mate who's a boxer and he like gave me a session to do, and I didn't strap up my hands and I should have. Yeah, because you have to strap and yeah. then put the. I did like on. about twenty minutes and yeah. yeah. And then it, it, there was a mid blister and then it re it's really painful. Yeah. Yeah, and everyone thinks awful. I've gotten into a fight. Great. Yeah. Jeez, nah. your life is in shambles, man. <laughs> What's going on? Can't make appointments, making up lies about not getting into fights. What's happening? 
Are you all right? <laughs> no, I think I'm having a breakdown. No, I was up. I was up to like two a.m. last night. Yeah. Doing this uh, sponsored thing. I'm like a child still. I mm. realized I haven't matured since high school. Whereas, yeah. you know, like I've, you know, when you ever have to do like a sponsored video, it's the least fun part of that video, oh, right? It's the worst. So I'm like high school where I consider it as an as an assignment. And Sorry. It, Apart from Nobby. <laughs> Yeah, love, love Gen- Nobby. No, genuinely though, yeah. we love Nobby because they said, oh, just do whatever you want. Yeah. So we chuck it in. Sometimes we forget. They don't care. They let great. us promote it how we want. That's great. But yeah. like this one, it was like, yeah, I'll do it. And then I was like, I'll get it to you over the weekend. Uh, I think I sent the email off about 2, 11 a.m. Yep. Last night was when I finally finished editing it. And I started filming it at, you know, 9 p.m. Yeah, those, PM. those integrated ones where you have to put yep. it into YouTube. Podcast ones are easy. The ones where you have to put them into YouTube videos, yeah, you, you have like to put get, effort into them. And they have to be like 60 seconds. You have to say specific things and yeah. then you have to cut it out and then send them the excerpt. Yeah, and this was the first draft. It. I'm assuming they're going to make like six amendments and... Yeah, they have to approve anyway, So them. I went to bed late and then I forgot to set my alarm. Mm-hmm. And um, and here we are. I'm getting judged on a podcast. So I would say that I'm uh, you not setting an alarm is 30% of the reason why you're late. Yep. And the other okay. 70% of the I reason no why you're excuse. late. I have no excuse. Yeah, no excuse. No it's excuse. just, I, oh, sorry, boys. I was late today. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I just, you know what it is? It's yeah. like the, I've got here early maybe like three or four times and every single time. Yeah. I've got here early. <laughs> yeah. You guys haven't been here <laughs> yeah. and I don't have a key. Yeah. So now I make yeah. a point of getting here at 11.20 minimum. Mm. I don't even try and get here at 11 because I know that if I do get here at 11, the chances are one of you may not be here yet <laughs> and I have to sit outside and breathe in the fucking tarmac cigarettes <laughs> that they smoke at the front. You know what you should try, Luke? Yeah. Try being on time. No, because <laughs> when I am, you're not here. <laughs> so, like, so I just like, I aim for late. And therefore, I'm not inconvenienced to you. Therefore, the only person mm. in that situation who can be inconvenienced is you guys. And that's yeah. fine with me. Well, okay. <laughs> so, fine. Well, I'm glad that we've sorted that out. Now, uh, we have a big problem, Luke. Yeah. Uh, I've started the video, uh, the podcast early. Yeah, well, so sorry. This... Sorry. I've started the podcast late. <laughs> yeah. And you've come here even later. Yeah. Now, the issue here is we haven't planned the show. So, would you like to plan the show on record? With the listener, or should we come back? <laughs> no, I reckon we should plan the show with them. Oh, so so you're late, so we got to punish even the listener. Oh, fuck yeah. You know what, Luke? I love that idea. That's great. Let's get the whiteboard. This is what we say, generally this do. This is the most disrespectful podcast yep. there is. And Absolutely. people, I reckon, listen because they've mm. been respected too much in their week so far and then they yes. come on this podcast and they go you know what i want to be treated like garbage for a bit so now, this uh, is episode I had some good, so this is what we usually do before we turn on the mics we sit yep. in the chairs and we go what, what's happened to you this week you know i might be like oh actually well, you would know this but what we actually do before uh we plan we, oh, yeah. before we record the show is we go oh gee luke's late <laughs> i wonder when he's gonna rock up should we start planning the show <laughs> no we have to wait for luke oh okay i guess you know we'll what's wait. crazy the only time i've ever gotten here early would just happen to be that one day that the robbers stole the curtains isn't that wild? What a coincidence again. That's, that was uh, the one day that I got You would here say early. coincidence. I would say incredibly <laughs> suspicious. Mm, I would say just wild. Mm. Who would have? Who, what are the chances? So what we do generally is we get in, we sit down, and we go through our notes uh, just to see if there's anything worth talking about on the show. Here's a good one. Yeah? I had. Yeah. Uh, well, we don't even have to write it down. We'll just talk about it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, no, we should write it down and, then we'll and, talk about and it. decide if it's good enough to talk about it. If it is, we'll write it down, <laughs> and then we'll work out the order uh, and decide oh when should we talk about that in the show. <laughs> So what did you have in your notes? It's a, It was a thing that happened in the Discord this week. People mm-hmm. were discussing uh, a new reward for Keelan. Yeah. And also that came with a new segment. Okay. Well, oh. should we... I think it's quite good. Should we talk about Just it? Just write down Keelan reward, maybe. Okay. Well, I was going to say, like, should we talk about it now before we do the show or should I find out on the show? I'll find out on the show. Okay. <laughs> so just what, Keelan's reward? Because because often with our show, yeah. we like to find out stuff on record because then we ha- we don't have to pretend that we're finding out about it. So Keelan, we like to keep it authentic. Yeah, yeah. and and the last thing we'd want to do would. is uh, let people you know get a sneak peek behind the curtain as well, to how yeah. this. Yeah, we wouldn't. We, we wouldn't want to do that. <laughs> do that. <laughs> um, okay. Oh, I've got I've got something. Um, do you reckon that, that the audio drama stuff's good, Keelan? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. All right, cool. Okay, I don't know about that, but so, I look forward to hearing that. Yeah. Um, uh, what about what about actually first? Yeah. 
So the first dog point, maybe like get rid of the first one and move it down. Uh, we'll yeah. do Luke being late because we'll probably talk about that first because I wasn't yeah. here. Yeah, true. Yeah. Luke. So we'll have to pre-schedule in that a thing that's already happened. Late. Well, that'll... <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, that and then right, plan the show because that's oh, now yeah, a part of the, the show episode. Is plan the show. <laughs> yeah, cool. right. the good, show. good, good, good. Uh, <laughs> I've got mm-hmm. one more thing. I want to talk about a show yep. that I did last week, but I have audio to play. So mm, we're gonna have to load the audio. Audio, on the, and I guess. Okay, so well, just send it to me, and I can load it on. Oh yeah, yeah. Keelan can load it on. Yeah. Great. So if you want to send it to him while we plan the show. Yeah, great. Um, so I'll just airdrop that to Luke. you now. Yeah. Now yeah. this. Be careful show? with it. Though. Now, <laughs> <laughs> that's one of the and usually that's an off-air that shit. That is definitely an. I'm I'm shocked that you would say that. While that is we're part recording. of the planning meeting. But yeah, we do true. say that a lot we during the We do say that in planning. Meeting. So the meme is uh, if, if you're airdropping something to someone or you're sending them something, you go, what is it? Oh, well, often, heads up. Often we'll go, oh, I'll just drop that to you. And yeah. then I'll go, oh, no, don't drop it. Airdrop it. Yeah. And he goes, yeah, all right, I'll airdrop it. I'll say, but be careful. You wouldn't want to break it. Yeah. And then sometimes uh, one time I airdropped something. Mm. I don't think you were there for this one, but I airdropped something to Keelan. And I went, oh, he goes, are you sending it? I just went. Kobe, <laughs> that was and, a good. Uh, sent it over. Yeah, saying Kobe before you airdrop something that, that is, is good. Funny. Um, now, should we talk about that in the show? Um, <laughs> probably not. It's a bit weak. No, that's probably not good. So mm. we'll maybe some, maybe make a point. Actually, write down: do not discuss the airdrop <laughs> meme. Keep that. Off a, air. I'll, you know what? On so on the board, we've got like everything we well that will be on the show. I'll have a little box. Not for the show. <laughs> not for. Show first thing on that list. Um, Keelan, airdrop. Name. I don't think your airdrop's on. I uh, can only see Lewis's iPhone and Lewis's airdrop. MacBook Pro. Trying to get on, on, uh, on now. So can right. you not lie next time when you said you're ready to receive it? <laughs> Such a liar. <laughs> um, <sighs> I, what about we just have a couple of minutes silence while we just get stuff ready? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like this is going to be the most disrespectful episode of the podcast yet. I'm so proud of us. <laughs> This is great. Didn't one time you mm. eat lunch on my podcast? That was really disrespectful. That was good. Yeah, that, that wasn't was good. No, you that know, was that was good. That was well, a good one for Lewis me. Lewis was a guest on my on my podcast, yeah. and you'd think it, you know I'm, I'm doing really I'm throwing him a fucking bone. Like yeah. he had a tour to promote. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, dude, yes, fine, you can come on my podcast and promote your shitty jokes, whatever you do. They're great but, jokes, all right. And uh, okay. and I was like, whatever, I'm doing you a favor. And then he comes on and just starts eating rice and not talking, just chewing loudly. Yeah. First thing. I do so obnoxious. Yep, I opened up my f- wasn't even open. I was like, I will begin <laughs> eating <laughs> yeah. this on as you soon as we hit record. You scheduled lunch for yep. my podcast. That is great. Now that's pretty low. I do like that. Um, did it send Keelan or is it? Oh, uh, oh, there we go. Keelan's MacBook. Uh, oh, I had something. Ends up. I had something that happened to Got me it? at Got the it. OB. Sorry, we're pl- are we planning or are we just fucking around here? Because <laughs> we need to plan before we do the show. <laughs> What are you guys doing? All right, <laughs> okay. stu- All right so I what had something, to you over the weekend? something that anything? happened to me in the Nike store that was kind of embarrassing. I'll um, I'll tell you about it on the show though. Okay. But we'll just put Nike store. Great. I think um, with the order of the show, it's a bit Luke heavy at the start. So maybe we'll put your one first. Um, so the Keelan re- re- reward thing. Yeah. And then the middle, we'll put the Nike store thing. I think a Luke heavy show is fine. Nike People store. probably won't be bothered by that. Well, um, and you know, because it's like Luke and Lewis. Like that's the show anyway, so <laughs> no, it's it's no, not the, a big deal. No, it's it's Luke it's and Lewis. <laughs> no, that's, that's definitely how you no, say no, it. There's no exclamation mark at the end. No, it doesn't need to be because everybody knows that generally <laughs> well, when they see me, they go it, Lewis. You're explaining oh, it, so it's, yeah. you, there's no. You don't need punctuation. it. It's implied. Okay. It's a silent it's exclamation Luke, comma, mark. and Lewis. No, <laughs> it's definitely we'll not. Add a little comma you don't there, put an and it? after <laughs> a comma, all right? Uh, you would know that if you yeah, read anything other than spells. Specky <laughs> McGee. Yeah. Um, so Gary Lyon isn't uh, one for grammatical So we start off He's with the of Luke being late <laughs> stuff, and then we'll do the planning stuff. Yeah. Is and that then, now? Yeah, that's we're in it. Okay. And then we'll do the, the, the Keelan's, Keelan's reward stuff, and then the Nike Nike thing, because that's kind of a short one, but it's a bit funny. And then uh, we'll do your the bit audio. about the show. Oh, Luke I was going to say, actually, give Killen more time. Would you be able to just chop? You'll know the bit. It's to do with the fog bit. So oh, does just he have listen. to edit it's, it? It's a recording of my set. Maybe just like chop off the first like 10 seconds because that might be bad audio to play. <laughs> so, so while we're yeah. playing the show, Keelan has Keelan, to edit. you just chop a bit off. You, you'll kind of, <laughs> you'll know which bit I mean. You'll yeah. get it. Yeah, it's like near the start where I get announced onto stage. And then uh, at some point we need to do the knobby plug. 
in here or is this the whole show or is there more yeah i reckon that's more? the whole show well just because we've spent so much time planning it we actually don't have that much time now for that's, content that's if true if we get time i'd like yeah. to do a follow-up to a segment i did on the on the last right, so what's episode. that what's put that, that in the not section uh, the not beyond way, the show. way ahead of you yeah. what's that called oh, it's, just so i can yeah it's don't worry about it then no no we just Keelan's just... Meelan's an update like all right an so update. i'll put that in the not for show Keelan's. <laughs> yeah. it wasn't the proper segment today Keelan's. Meal. We'll so do wait, Maybe you we'll have that. a follow up. Oh, I know what the follow up is. Yeah, nah, and he wants a free plug. <laughs> oh, okay, well, look, we'll be doing that maybe next episode, but in the moment, it's in the not for show box because we've spent about twenty minutes uh, with Luke being late and then planning the show, and that's Man, no one's fault. You know what? I really <laughs> <laughs> what just so, audio is so loud in my ears. Sorry, it scared me. He just bit his top. What's so wrong with you? He was going like this, right, editing yeah. it, and then the audio is so loud. He goes. Keelan is the most easily scared person. When you came in the door, he jumped. <laughs> like, really jumped. Like, you guys like who the fuck else would it be? You were recording it, like, expecting me, right? That's yes. why you're recording. It's like, oh, well, we'll be recording it when Luke walks in. I'm guessing was the gag. I wasn't here. But Keelan goes, no, at 10 past 11, Keelan goes, oh, uh, should we do that thing? Because we've been talking about doing starting yeah. the episode without you for weeks. Yeah. Literally weeks. And you can pick any since day. Since about episode 20, of course. really. We're up to episode 39 mm -hmm. and we go, oh, we'll do that one. <laughs> Keelan now, goes, was that a good content decision? Absolutely. Because I feel now like we're here. Yeah, no, and we've spent, I don't know how long, about 15 minutes planning this show. And I'm going to say, show. the sound off section, when we start the episode, right, is yeah. going to be, they're going to go nuts. They're going to okay. go, oh my God, I can't believe 40 minutes in, we've actually started the episode. <laughs> now, the creative choice that you and I are going to have to make is that when we start the episode at about 40 minutes, mm. do we then do an hour? Because <laughs> yeah. generally episodes go for an hour. Uh, and I guess like that is a creative decision. That they we'll might make. be a bit disappointed if we only have a 20 minute oh, cause, episode cause this week. Because we haven't even started, have we? No, we haven't started. Oh, great. Well, that's good. We can do whatever the fuck we want. <laughs> that's fine. Then I'll just stretch it out. Yeah. Um, so, okay. Well, then if we if we have time. Usually we'll before we start, I, uh, off camera, I sometimes mm. bag your outfit. Mm. So can I do that? I can't, so It's part of my morning ritual. Main Some man. people have a coffee. <laughs> I just rip on Lewis's outfit. Uh, Today okay. you look like a spy. Kinda well, like a mate, like a marine off an off duty marine, which mate, is kind of cool. Finish What's my tour, finish my tour, and I thought you, you know what I'm yourself. gonna do. I, you know what I do after after every tour, buy myself something nice because you've got buy a new, one thing. You've got a new hat. Mm -hmm. I reckon you've got a you've got a whole new Nike tracksuit. Absolutely, <laughs> I was like, you know what I'm gonna get? <laughs> whole new tracksuit. Nike tracksuit. With yep, matching with hat. the hat, dude. With the you cap. look so sponsored right now. Oh uh, yeah, I look like um. I look dangerous. How, how, okay. You don't have to say how much, but was it above? So often you buy Gucci belt at the end of your tour. Man. Or you have in the past. Was it above the price of a Gucci belt? Let me tell you something. All right. <laughs> One time I bought myself a Gucci belt, $500. Okay. Uh, after trying and stop me, bought myself a Gucci hoodie. It might have been $1,000. Was it a two? No, it wasn't oh, two thousand okay. dollars. No, that'll be next to it. A thousand dollar uh, hoodie. Oh yeah. Oh fuck off! No wonder we're in a warehouse. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I had a good year. That was the tour, and that was also the crowdfund. Yeah. Same year. Where so did it all really, go wrong? I spent twenty bucks. Yeah. So somewhere in there, something mm -hmm. went wrong. Cause something went wrong. Probably all the hoodies. Yeah. Now we're here listening to like yeah. house music every Aunt day. Style. Just... Well, yeah. Well, maybe if you showed up to work on time, we could work hard enough That's to get out of here. That's also probably part. Probably of an it. issue. Yeah. Um, this year, right? Biggest tour yet. So you'd think mm. most money spent. Mate, 200 bucks. Is that it? Yeah. Well, really? with the hat, maybe 230. That's, really, that's a really affordable. Is that on the sale rack? No, nah, full price. How much are the. Really? The trackies were like 100, 110. And then the, and then like the, the jacket was like 80. 90 something. And then the hat was 30 bucks. Boom. Bang. So that's Lewis shopping on a budget. That's a frugal shop yeah, it for is. me, uh, especially Thrift after a shopping tour. at the Nike store. Let me tell you, <laughs> after the tour, generally I go ham because my oh, thing yeah. is I'll go nuts once and then I'll live dirt broke the rest of the year. Yeah. yeah. Literally, like he'll live in dirt. There's mm -hmm. a lot of dust here. We should probably clean it up. Yes, there is. I think that's why I have like a bad throat. I thought it was hay fever and then I realized it was probably the warehouse. Mm. There's, a, there's, a, there's a wood shop yep. next door. So there's a lot of sawdust mm -hmm. in here. Yep. Not good for the lungs. I've got asthma. I think so. Not good. I think I'm getting asthma. Yeah. Mm. Um, now, would you say, Luke, that at this point we started the show? 
No, because this is what I usually do before the show. Oh, we're just talking about which my is outfit. I usually trash your outfit. Okay, I, I've already trashed those shoes. Have you already trashed them? Yeah, yeah, you have. Yeah, uh, Luke's like audio is ready. By uh, Luke's audio is ready. Yeah. Great job, man. Um, right. How so long does it go Is for? that loaded on the machine? Seconds. Yeah, I reckon that's the appropriate time. Is that loaded time. on the yeah, machine? It's that green one. It's the green one. Is yeah. this right. it? Yep, that's right. it. That's cool. So do you reckon we're ready to start, boys? We're probably. Let me just make sure the camera's in front. Hang on, can I get it? Oh, make sure. Yeah, you better make sure the camera's ready. Otherwise, that would be pretty bad if the camera wasn't in focus for the first 25 minutes, wouldn't it? Oh, mate, it's been longer than 25 minutes. Yep, hello. Mm -hmm. Testing, one, two, on, on. We're testing? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's recording. Or has the camera been on this whole time? Yeah, we've actually been recording. Oh, we probably won't use any of this. Uh, (laughs) Go Yep, is that good? Yep. That's good. Oh, that would All be right. embarrassing. Oh, dude. <laughs> okay, before we start, yeah. for real, can you not bring up that I was late? Because I just don't want people to be hated in the comment well, section. If you, if you don't, if you don't want to be brought up, you're always late. No, come on. We've got a public image to maintain. Can you just, like, be cool? Yeah, we're also trying to... I've, I <laughs> thought we wanted to create a genuine show. No, didn't fuck, we? fuck these people. I don't give a fuck about the people that listen to this show. Dude, we need them. No, I don't give a fuck. Without them, I can't buy another oh, tracksuit. Yeah, okay, fine. True, I want a Nike tracksuit as well. stopped recording a couple minutes ago. But we got that audio. Did it actually? It actually did, yeah. Why? I don't know. I just went back onto GarageBand and it stopped. Mate, you are never going to get that chair. Ever. It wasn't my fault. Luckily, we've got this backup recording. So technically, it didn't stop. How is it not your fault? <laughs> I didn't do anything <laughs> to Please it. Please tell me how that's not your fault. I didn't do anything to it. Oh my god, I mum and dad stop fighting. <laughs> oh my god. This I is what we generally do before we record. <laughs> I scream at our employee. And I scream like, don't get a divorce. <laughs> Sorry. But, but, I, but I, we switched to your computer so, there was so no that issues. this would stop happening. Is that correct? Oh, that's a bad idea. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't know. I just went out of Final Cut into It's Garage probably because you were editing maybe my one maybe. or something maybe. to do with that. Oh, maybe it was when I loaded on the sound effect to the road. Stop. Yeah, maybe. Probably. Oh, no, that would have been because the road is connected to, uh, is the input. She's lucky so we're getting start... this all out of the way before we start because this would be shitty content if people were. Well, yeah, we need to nut out all the technical issues yeah. before we start the show. So the, the reason that probably happened, Keelan, <laughs> is I would imagine if you, you transferring sound effects to the road because the road is the input on the computer, yeah. it would fuck with it. So, so when we start the episode, we need to make sure all the sound effects are loaded. So we, we don't can't. Have to do this so again. we don't have to do that again. But luckily, this is still going. So hopefully, this backup's still good. So you got you ready? Are we ready to roll? It's in yep. focus. I thought you already checked the camera. Oh, okay, that's right. rare. That's, that's a good. first. Jeez, if yeah. only good people hear this. Yeah. If only people could hear Keel and actually doing mm. his job. He never does his job on the show. Yep. Great. We're good. all good. Ready to go. Cool. Yeah, and now remember, don't bring the fact uh, up. The fact that I was all like, right. Test, this test, cool. testing this mic. Testing Luke. this mic. Test, yep. test, yep. test. Uh, is that good? Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Cool. So it's episode thirty-nine. Yeah. 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 Cool. Thirty-nine. All right. And welcome to episode thirty-nine of the Luke and Lewis Show. Woo-hoo. How are you going? Well, uh, I'm excited. How are you feeling, Luke? I'm oh, good. Uh, woke up early this morning. Yep. Came in early. Just nut mm-hmm. out a few things before we got here. Yeah. Well, I reckon we were. This is probably maybe the most planned episode we've ever done. Oh yeah, we show. did a lot of planning beforehand. Yeah, we did a lot of planning. I got here before everyone for once today. It was weird. How did you get in? Um, I uh, came in through the massive hole in the, in the drill shop. You know what, Luke? They play the hard style music. I would call you shut on the, that. Shut the fuck up. But. That <laughs> is actually very, very possible. plausible. Very I think plausible. that's how the robbers got in. Yeah. That time. <laughs> I don't know about that yeah. one. <laughs> Not sure about that one because I do remember that there was no hole when the robbers struck. So it's very suspicious. Ah, uh, maybe. that Maybe they tunneled in. Well, then there would be a tunnel, wouldn't you think? I know. Can we start again? Because I feel like you're coming well, we on. We can't start again. I, I feel, like, I feel again. like you're coming on. A little, remember I said, don't bring up the thing. And like, I just want to clean start the, the episode. Right, can we I just start it one up. more time? Yeah. And you just be nice. Okay. All right. But I, I just w- I, I'm one week away from quitting this fucking show. Okay. <laughs> now we can't let sh- the audience I, know that. The, honestly, there would be no difference if you quit the show <laughs> because you're not even fucking here. <laughs> okay. Can we just start? All right. Okay, it's cool. episode All right. 39. Woo-hoo! Welcome to the show. With my best friend, Lewis. <laughs> we get along yeah. so well off camera. Yes, we do. Um, 
Oh man, I've had a great week. How yep. have you been? Yeah, I've been I've been great, man. Yeah, yeah. Is that a new tracksuit? Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Really? Is, honestly, oh, it looks yeah. cool, dude. I, I think it does look cool. It looks great. I don't hate it at all. Really? No, I don't. I was expecting from you, yeah. a lot of heat for this one. No, nah, I mean, I think you look like a um, a, a navy, an, an off-duty uh, navy mm. some uh, marine, and I just thought of that on the spot. Yeah, yeah. Um, I just came up with that joke like that. You know what I've noticed <laughs> yeah. about wearing this outfit? So I got it on on Friday, mm. and then I wore it uh, two days in a row because I was at my girl's house when we left the house. Mm. Um, no one is sure that it's me in it. If I, I got approached, I've been getting approached by a lot of fans recently because my videos have been going well. Mm -hmm. I put this on, man, if I got approached by five people, oh. every single one of them I've, asked me if I was me. I have a theory. Yeah. Uh, you, it's because it's active wear <laughs> and you are not active. Yeah. Well, often, ever. Often. Well, it's because I'm wearing active wear, not in the gym. No, no, no. In the gym, sometimes <laughs> you, you wear jeans. Yes. Because uh, you have an unconventional <laughs> lifestyle. That is true. And fashion sense. Yeah. But I, I've not, this uh, outfit and, uh, is it like is, a disguise. Yeah, because you, A, usually wearing jeans, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And these are like active wear trackies, mm -hmm. kind of like, it's a, it's a sporty look for you. You kind of yep. look like a boxer. Yep. Um, you know those boxers when they do that sweat training and they run up mountains at like 4 a.m. and they're yeah. breathing out fog? You yeah. kind of look like that mm. and it's a new look for you. And yep. it, it's also like, and it, it's got, I don't know why they're so shocked. It's got elements of like mm. ratty Frankston. It's got a little bit of lad well. in there. Yeah. 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 It's Especially like, cause you wear it with like, it's like a, if you wear whole just Nike yep. from head to toe, literally yep. head to toe. Yes. That's a bit laddie. Bit laddie. Um, but it's, it's kind if you're of not like sponsored. if you're a tennis player, fair, yeah. fair game. You're being mm. paid millions to wear it. But if, if you're this choosing is sophisticated to, lad. This is like lad who just sold 20 grand worth of stuff he shouldn't have had, but then he had to get rid of the cash because yeah. if he got caught with the cash, he would still get in trouble. Yep. So he's like, I guess I better buy clothes. Can't buy property with it, can I? Yeah. So I got to just spend it on clothes. Yeah. And that's what I've done. Yeah. And I look um, the same. Yeah. Have you noticed I've been like every six months, mm -hmm. I like change pants and yeah. you never commented on it. I well, wore black pants for almost a year every day. Yeah. And then I recently re-found these like gray jeans that I had in my cupboard. And now I've just started wearing them. You know why? Heaps. Because I would have just assumed that they're the same jeans. They've just faded <laughs> for them every day. They just turned gray. <laughs> but they turn gray very suddenly. Yeah, that's true. Because yeah. that's what I do with my jeans. I buy one pair and then they just turn no, gray. I think they were always gray. I don't mm. think, or maybe they were charcoal and now they're gray. I don't know. Who they knows? were never black. There's Who no knows? way they faded that much. <laughs> I wouldn't think so. Now, um, Lewis, mm -hmm. in the Discord this week. Yeah. Oh, um, this, uh, yeah, it's just on the board there. <laughs> I've found it before. Yeah. Um, it was, I think this was in... I forget his Discord. Anyway, so uh, there was people talking about um, Keelan. And obviously, yep. there were people throwing around going, oh, look, he's never going to get his chair at this rate. And oh, I agree. No. Because yeah. he just oh. made, it's mistake after mistake. Yeah, I mean, you, you guys heard fair. during the planning meeting, um, for those of you who decided to show up on time, everyone yeah. except Luke. <laughs> I love that even the listeners were more on time than you for that. <laughs> you I said, mean, sorry, Luke was on time, my bad. You uh, said you were bringing up. Excuse me, that, yeah. was, that was just a bit of a... It was just a uh, joke. We're always kidding joke. around <laughs> on this show. I <laughs> 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 just... <like, laughs> um, Blur that, Keelan. <laughs> you, heard it, you heard a life mistake. So there you go, guys. Um, and people would... Look, obviously, people just accept it. Like, at this rate, we're never going to see a gifted chair. Mm -hmm. And also people agreeing because he doesn't deserve one. Oh, well, now... <laughs> Oh. Well, I guess yeah. You know, I was gonna I was gonna stand up for him because that sounded a little bit mean. But then I remembered that the way to deserve one is mm. to just have a mistake free month. That was the agreement. Yeah. Now, and how are you going, Keely? Well, I was doing really well until today. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, <laughs> no. thirty nine episodes <laughs> in a row of constant mistakes. So good. <laughs> it's almost impressive. Yeah. Like almost now, I want to like if you can hit one mistake per app by episode one hundred. We'll have to get you two chairs. I don't know. I think that I've done a good job of having a variety of mistakes. That is true. He does Spelling doesn't... mistakes, editing mistakes. Yeah. Uh, he rarely makes the same mistake twice. Yeah. Which is, <laughs> which I, you would, I was going <laughs> to say it's kind of impressive, but that just means that he's shit at everything <laughs> and he's slowly fixing it. He just sucks at every facet of the job. He's going to fuck it up. <laughs> and then hopefully by episode 100 of 100 mistakes in a row, he might be able to go two weeks without making one. <laughs>
So what have they been saying? Yeah, in the secret sound off section. Um, so they were obviously chatting about his mistakes. Now someone mm-hmm. said, "Look, he's never going to get one with a chair. Let's make up a new game." Because honestly, I think people Even have lost interest yeah. at this point. Because it's like, well, he's never going to get it. And mm. also, we have stopped him policing it because we know <laughs> that we don't have to anymore. We it was a funny else, idea when we yeah. started it because oh maybe it'll we take thought, him oh, two months. We, exactly, we were like, he'll get his shit together soon. <laughs> If we give him an incentive and a challenge, because yeah. that's how you motivate employees, you give them something to work for. Hasn't worked at no. all. <laughs> and you know what else? Like, obviously, if you haven't realized already, Keelan has a pretty high tolerance for shit stuff. Mm. So he doesn't actually care about his chair yeah. that he's sitting on. Like, he has a chair that's bad for his back, but his diet consists of Kirk's creamy soda and whole chickens. Yeah. So it's like, he has pretty much no respect for his body anyway. So I don't know why we thought He's that like, was oh, going to be a good... Initially, I didn't like having, you know, no good chair. But then I realized that this whole week, I haven't eaten food. So <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Uh, now, they've decided in the Discord, they thought mm-hmm. they suggested perhaps a new reward um, and a new thing. Yep. They were saying four weeks without... Keelan uh, parking in a disabled spot <laughs> and he gets his chair. Impossible. <laughs> do you reckon that's that could even be hard? I could do it. It would be hard, but I could do it. <laughs> It'd be hard, would it? How hard would it be? <laughs> no, I could do it. I could easily do that. Uh, one. I hope so. You know what? I, I just, uh, while, while I was Because here's the thing mistakes are often accidental. Yeah. <laughs> it's never an accident going, oh, oh I've just parked it. Oh. Oopsie no, daisy. It's always done. It's always, always malicious, done on purpose. <laughs> Keelan, fuck the disabled brown. Now, I, on the, this weekend, just for myself, while, we, while I was out with Jazz, we were doing lots of errands, lots of parking, lots of going here and there. All weekend, I just decided to just have a look for disabled parks. I saw you posting them on the Luke and Lewis story, just reminding Keelan yeah. as to what they are. Just taking photos of the sign. And, and did it that is, help? Yeah. All he did yeah, was. Keelan went, ooh, a new parking space <laughs> for me to check out. <laughs> Keelan's parking space review. <laughs> I just I just decided to, I'll just have a look to see, because Keelan's always talking about how much more convenient it is to park in the disabled spot yep. when he's in a hurry, which apparently he always is. He's always got shit to do. Yeah, he's a busy um, man. He's got busy Kirks man. to pick up. <laughs> I don't know what else you do. Entire chickens to catch and kill and eat. <laughs> um, I just decided, oh, I'm going to step into Keelan's mind and see if it really would save me that much time. I saw disabled parks everywhere. And to be honest, there's always a park right next to them that's not disabled. Yeah. So uh, easy to just How not busy do that. are the supermarkets and stuff you're going to? Uh, not that busy, but... It- <laughs> <laughs> but- at, <laughs> you're doing it on purpose. You just don't like the disabled. At my local Woolies, yeah. there's... Two of those big, like, strips of parking. Yeah. It's parent parking and disabled parking. Mm-hmm. And then, like, 10 metres away from that is standard parking. Oh, 10 metres. You can understand why. Maybe I don't <laughs> no, park I can't. <laughs> That's way more convenient. <laughs> <laughs> it's been now uh, three weeks. It's almost turning into the poo. It's like three weeks of killer justifying why this is okay when <laughs> everyone in his personal life and in the sound his of own section, mother. his own mother, <laughs> everyone is going like, it's not okay. You know what's shocking is the, is zero shame. No, yeah, <laughs> it's yeah, like yeah. zero shame justifies it. Yeah. Doesn't stop. He sent me, you know. <laughs> Some guy you know, in a freaking wheelchair told him how disrespectful it was. Killen met him, took a photo, then still thinks it's funny. <laughs> you know, Killen sent me a video on like Friday night. This is true. He sent me a video of it. We can cut this out if you're not happy with this. Yeah. But he sent me a video of him double parking across <laughs> two, two spaces on purpose. Two handicapped spaces, double parking on purpose, gets out of the car, <laughs> sends a video of him doing it, and then the next day, another video, quadruple parking <laughs> over disabled spots. Yep. <laughs> and, and that You're same day, as I was walking out of Woolies, some guy messages me on Instagram and goes, oh, bro, I agree with you about the whole disabled parking thing. And so I just sent him a video of where I was parked. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to cut that out because you're already sending it yeah. to people to listen to our show. He should have put it on his fucking story, but his <laughs> mum would have seen it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> disgraceful. So the chat in the Discord didn't stop there. Yeah. It continued. 
Uh, they said, uh, it, it obviously, <laughs> if four weeks without parking in disabled when he gets his chair, then someone said, no, he needs to get a wheelchair so then he can actually <laughs> park in there from now on. That's good. And then, uh, then someone else chimed in and said, yeah, that'd be great. He can do a new segment called Keelan's Wheelin'. <laughs> <laughs> that and that's a segment uh, where you just talk about all the places that you've wheeled yourself around, presumably falsely parked in. You should do Keelan's Disabled Parking Spot Reviews. <laughs> Yes, I was down at uh, just him walking Fertry around Gully KFC, and I saw some bloke in a wheelchair wheeling in, and I was like, "Fucking race you for it!" And, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> so yeah, I thought that was some pretty good sounding off in the secret sound off, and that's uh, I guess um, one you know, more reason to join the Patreon. One more reason you can to get join on than that if you want to suggest new segments. Now I'm not sure if Keelan's Wheelins will ever make. I hope not. I hope not. I don't think we can be associated no. with that. That, I that think you'll have to start article. off a spin-off show that's not associated Quite with this Quite literally, one. the spin-off. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, yeah, that was some great sounding off. Well done, team. Well Ooh. done, everyone. And um, keep up the great work. Don't that's clap good. it, Killen. It was about you. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've only got uh, about 19 minutes left. Yeah. Um, so, what should we do next? Um, what's Mike's Nike store? Oh, yeah, Nike yeah. store. This yeah. is a story that happened in the Nike store. So, I'm in there. Buy my outfit, yeah. So I know maybe this might mm. spark some heated debate yeah. in the uh, sound-off section. Mm -hmm. Can we settle it once and for all? Is it Nike <coughs> or Nike? I think it's Nike. Mm. What I don't know, if it's Adidas or, or Adidas. Adidas. I, I like Adidas. I think in the UK it's Adidas, yeah. isn't it? And here it's Adidas. I, I say like Adidas. Adidas. I like Adidas. That's because I think it's what people call it here, maybe in America too. Mm. Or maybe in America it's Adidas. They call it Adidas over there. Yeah. In America? Yeah. So right. Maybe UK and Australia is Adidas. I don't know. Um, I've got another one. Is it gentleman or gentleman? No, no, no. You're mm. not jumping on board here. Yeah. As well. <laughs> I've already talked about this in my podcast. Yeah. And I'm not going to change how I speak. You s you don't even say it in a no. lazy way. You say you say it wrong. You're just talking. It, it's like you're talking. Ladies about, and gentlemen. No, you do not. You don't even say that. You say yeah. ladies and gentlemen. No, I say gentlemen. You, you, no, you I don't. say the L. I you don't say the T. No, you I will say never gentlemen. say the T. You and you know why? Because you all know what I meant. Ba -dun -dun. You sound like you're talking Ding. about Caitlyn Jenner. Yes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry for me acknowledging okay. transgender people. Well, okay. Well, yeah. I'm glad that we sorted you that out. You fucking bigot. Why? How hey, dare man. you? Have you ever seen a bigoted man in a full Nike outfit? <laughs> Exclusively. <laughs> 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 Exclusively most bigoted men. Yeah. So I'm at the Nike store yep. and uh, I just want to buy an outfit. And obviously looking for the slim fit stuff mm. because I'm quite a slim man and I'm very fit. So uh, I'm walking around. You are slim. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And, uh, and there's, this, there's this guy working at the store, uh, taking all the t-shirts out, folding them back up, taking all the t-shirts out, folding them back up. Because the most annoying thing about these Nike stores and a lot of clothing stores is there's no uniforms. They just wear the brand. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got to so, rep what you sell. Yeah, exactly. But you kind of work out, oh, the guy in the full Nike outfit must be an employee. Yeah. This guy's touching everything, so, unfolding stuff. So now everyone thinks that now you I look like work an employee. in a Nike store. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So I go up to this guy. I'm like, hey, man, do you know where the slim fit track suits are? And he goes, yeah, dude. And he helps me out. He, he pulls me out. He goes, oh, this is probably your size. Did he have a lanyard on? This and that. He didn't work there. Oh. He was just some like 17 year old kid who was wearing full Nike and was in that store so much that he knew it back to front. And he was like and, touching and he was everything, folding stuff, folding it back up, folding it back behind properly. the counter, so, pe pe taking people's money, going, No worries, guys, I'll get this one. Yeah. Just beep. So I right. go, And do you have your rewards card? Is, he just knew everything, yeah. right? So I go and I try all my stuff and I come out and, and uh, I'm like, Oh, does this fit me? And he goes, Yeah, that looks good. I'm like, Okay, cool. So I take it off. And then I go, I go, oh, I'll just get these. And the ones that didn't fit me, I'll go, can you put those back? And he goes, oh, I don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you could have told me that when I asked you the first as question. As if he, like, <clears throat> waited till then. Yeah, as if he, like, well, he was clearly just a nice guy who loves Nike and maybe loves fitting people. Like, he probably likes seeing other people at his favorite brand. And um, I, remember th I remember the thing, fuck. You did look really young. He was there. I, when I went up, I bought the stuff. His mum was buying him shit. 
He was there with his mum. And you're just asking this seven. Yeah, but that's not, you're allowed to work in a Nike store when you're 17. No, but it was like a wig day during the day. How old was he? Like 15. He looked like 17. So you're allowed to work when you're 17. Yeah, but you'd think he'd be at school. You probably, yeah. Yeah. It's a bit weird to like drop out of school in year 10 and just work at the Nike store full time. Usually you'd do a tag. Even like, weirder table. to do it for free. Yeah. He's like, oh, I'm dropping out of school to pursue my passions, oh. working at clothing oh. stores for no money. Volunteering. Yeah. At Billionaire corporation stores. It was so confusing. That's wild. Yeah. And uh, that's my Nike story. I told you it's a bit short. We can go to the next one then. Yeah, okay, yeah. great. That was, that was pretty interesting. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. I feel like it could have probably, on reflection, we should have put it first. Maybe so when we, we were you talking. making fun about the Nike Yeah, and Nike then outfit. like you could have just smoothly segued into but that. But I feel like w all that outfit shit we kind of did in the planning meeting, so we would just be recreating it for the show. That's It'd true. be kind of fake. Exactly. <clears throat> so, um... <laughs> We have uh, Luke, your show. Yeah, so I uh, <laughs> look if you bit. Yeah, if, if you're new to the podcast, uh, hey, welcome. Lewis has fucking ruined my life, <laughs> and it's. I'm so. You know what? I knew this would work, and I would like I, everyone to just call me a mastermind because that's really what I've done here. We throw out a lot of stuff in this podcast, like everyone should yeah. do this, and it's like. You know, we don't act. Sometimes we're just kidding around, and we yeah. don't even think anyone will do it. Nor do we expect this one. I wasn't kidding. I can tell, and people weren't didn't take it as a joke. <laughs> Everyone took it as like, oh, absolutely, I will do this. Yeah. And uh, so, Lewis, a few weeks ago, just a quick recap, uh, we were talking about this bit of comedy that I had mm. uh, called The Fog Bit. I wrote it a year ago. At the time, was bombing everywhere. Yeah. Just like, wasn't working. I believed in this bit. Oh, Genuinely, hardly. both of us really believed I in it. I thought the it's audience very, was wrong. Very funny idea, but sometimes you just... You, the concept is I great and the jokes it. aren't very good. Yeah, well, properly. Yeah. I don't know what was happening at the time. But anyway, mm. telling Lewis about this a bit and then Lewis goes, on this podcast goes, oh, whenever you see Luke fr live from now on, chant fog bit and force him to do this bit on stage. Yeah, because it's and the best bit of all time. We kind of laughed hear about it. You might cry. Going like, ah, you mm -hmm. know, that, whatever, good. And then we... Yeah. Mics off, and then I was like, kind of just like off camera. I was like, "You didn't mean that, right?" Like people would not won't actually yell that every show because that would maybe ruin my career and ruin my life. And you'd be like, "Nah," you, you were like, "I don't think people would do it." And I was like, "Yeah, true." Yeah. Forgot about it. And then I went home to like my my giant whiteboard full of fog, Luke <laughs> jokes, strings, fans <laughs> chanting, and it's all connected, and it all led down to this specific date. November, yeah. right? When we do the Luke and Lewis tour. And it was an emergency episode as well. Well, yeah. it's not even the Luke and Lewis tour. All right? And then and then people chanted it when I was opening for you. And yeah. I was like, you know what? Maybe to be expected because a lot of people listen to this podcast, yeah. right? You know, it's our podcast. Most both of, of my us fans. On the show. Well, yeah. uh, <laughs> and, uh, and I was like, fair enough. They yeah. might chant it. Yep. And, and, I, and here's the master truck of my plan. Made sure it was filmed. Release that shit. No, I released it because I thought it was funny. Uh, I've since I've since now just given up. <laughs> I've given up. I realized like, well, you know when some memes you, you can't just can't fight. fight. It. You can't fight it, and yeah. if you don't embrace it, it ends up killing you slowly, mm. right? So I was like, I got to embrace this at this point. It started happening at Frenchie's show, so I still hadn't embraced it by this point. It happened it, at yours, and I hadn't uploaded. It. I was like, fuck this. I want this to get out. Happened at Frenchie's. Like, damn it. That's when I realized that when when it happened at neither of our shows mm. and you were not an announced guest i was like oh there's something here but when you went to just a regular comedy room yeah none of the other boys that are big online shouldn't generally are never look many fans at all when you went to just a regular melbourne comedy room and people started chanting it i was like I'm a genius. So I've done it. On Wednesday. <laughs> I've uh, ruined his life. I did a room called Crab Lab, right? It's in Melbourne yep. in the CBD. Great room. Uh, it's a great room. and uh, Full of comedians that don't listen to our show. Yeah, just like, you know, comedians might see on the comics. TV. Who was it? Like Tom Ballard was on the lineup, right? Yep. Just like a really good lineup, strong lineup that mm. night. I'm one of 10 comedians on that lineup. Yep, full of nine other comedians who don't get this joke. Yes. and uh, Sorry, and this movement. But that's fine. There was uh, also 100 people there yep. who also didn't understand what's happening. However... But were there three people who listened <laughs> to our show? There was a lot more than three. Uh... I for some like I was literally talking to another comedian because mm. I've talked to him about it and I was like his name's Matt and I was like there's no way it's gonna happen tonight and he goes it might and I was like dude there's there's literally no way like these people don't know who I am like it's fine like and even if they do they won't yell it because they know I'm trying to work on new stuff it's and, very and, rare for us to have like many fans at these regular yeah, comedy usually nights. people who know you like oh I've seen a couple of your videos man it was great seeing you tonight you know but like yeah but not we like don't fans. advertise them yeah we don't yeah. really advertise them I think I put you know what it is I. 
think I did put this one on my story because it's just like I was on the poster and I was like, it's a good the, one. I was like, yeah, it's a good nut to get out and you know. Yeah. I was like, yeah, I'll put it on my story. I didn't think anyone would come or whatever. And I was just like, <laughs> I kind of forgot I put it on my story. And I was like, look, I got like, you know, eight minute spot. I was just like working some new stuff. I planned eight minutes of material, right? New stuff. It did yeah. not include the fog bit. Why? Because <laughs> I'm not going to do the fucking because fog bit. the fog bit goes for about only, four minutes, but explaining uh, why you have to do the fog bit, that's at least three. Yes. And, uh, <laughs> Joel said. and also... <laughs> And also, it's only to be performed upon request, yeah. as decided on this podcast. Yeah. Uh, about, so it's never planned. There's about 120 people there, right? Yeah. And a great room. Uh, I get announced onto the stage, and mm. uh, this is what happened. And uh, I'm, I started, I always record my sets in my pocket so I can listen to my material back, yeah. and this is the audio that it caught. How's it going, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, we good? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 um, fuck. Hey guys, how you going? Good? <laughs> Before you even say hello. That's awesome. It's That's not. so it's good. not awesome. Oh man. <laughs> so how did your new stuff go? Did you have time? Yeah, the two minutes I did was good. Uh, no, no, I did. Do, I, you know, and that crowd got, got fogged. They, got a, they copped a, a long, hard fogging. And uh, it went up. This is what you fogged him up. This is literally what is kind of weirding me out. Is yeah. this bit kind of was ironic mm. and was like, yeah, make him do this shit bit. Yeah, it never bombs anymore. That's what this it needed. This bit has like found a new life. I told you it was a good bit. It's this is all about like, proving me right. It's just like I found this new life, and it's like I I closed with it. So now what I do is at every show I. Uh, Hold it against the crowd. If they yeah. chant fog bit at the start, they would do it. And I'm like, the fog bit will be performed mm. if you be good. Yeah. And I hold them hostage with That's the good. fog bit. And then if they start misbehaving, getting That's too good. ratty, I, I can easily take that away from you. That's I don't true. have to do the fog bit. Because the fog bit is a privilege, not it a is. right. Exactly. It's performed upon request. Yeah, but people it's not think guaranteed. It's a right. People mm. think it's a right. They yeah. chant it and go, oh, now we're going to get it. I saw someone comment going, can't wait to see the fog bit on Friday at Luke and Lewis's Sydney show. Mm -hmm. <laughs> If you behave it's a yourself. bit fucking entitled, I yeah. think. Yeah. You got to get through, you know, all of other, all of Luke's jokes. Yeah, and Keelan's set. Apparently, oh, if yeah. he gets a standing ovation in Brisbane. Yeah. How's that going, by the way? Oh, well, from the brainstorming I did with Lewis, I haven't developed it any further, but it, it <laughs> seems pretty good. You know what? Pretty good. Okay. I'm looking forward to hearing but it. But whether or not he can perform it mm. is different. Because you can write something real funny. That's almost the easy bit. Performing it well, that's the hard yeah. bit. I thought about it the other night in mm. bed and then my heart started racing and I got really nervous and then I went, oh. Gee, that's weird for someone who has the confidence <laughs> to repeatedly park in a disabled <laughs> spot during the day. It's weird that that's the thing you're worried about, yeah. people judging you for. <laughs> 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 Your stand-up, not the fact that you... All right, Hate whatever. disabled. Yep. Uh, <laughs> well, that's, that's good. So, yeah, it, it destroyed <laughs> and... Mm. Uh, what yeah. did the other comedians think of this? Other comedians? Oh, they just thought it was funny. Yeah. They're like, bro, it's a good bit. Like, I don't know why you ever stopped doing that bit. I knew it. I told you <laughs> it was a good bit. All it needed was a fan club. Yeah, and that's what it needs. It needs. If it doesn't have the fan club there, then I feel like, I don't know how it would go, but who knows? Uh, but, dude, I fucking... You know that uh, new joke I have about... I'm not going to say the bit, but it's about the band I like. Um yeah, anyway, I have this joke about My Chemical Romance, right? And yeah. it's had this reference and I did it at your... Oh, finish. yes. Dude, that joke is easily the best joke I've ever written. It's very, It's very crushing funny. to the point where, like, I was shocked. Mm. I remember... So funny. Because you did it for the first time at my show? Yeah. So I remember... I kind of did it like half ass of that show because yeah, I wasn't you, very confident <laughs> in it. You dropped that punchline and I felt like it was... It was sometimes with, like, punchlines that are super smart and super short... You have to really drop them hard and go, this is the joke. Yeah, because yeah. if you say it too casually, it's almost like too funny and too, too yeah. small and people get confused. <laughs> but I knew it would it's be so funny. funny if you hit yeah. it right. That's it was good. a good night. Anyway, so... Uh, LukeandLewis5.com to get your tickets. Um, See what we've been working on. Yeah, we'll be doing stand-up for all the live shows. And the tour is this week.
Yeah, this we are weekend. literally going on tour. So Thursday, mm-hmm. uh, if, like obviously the episodes won't be out this week. The episodes will be out next week. But if you want to come shows. to see so it live, see the shows live. Uh, Thursday night Brisbane is already sold out. Woo. Uh, Sydney is still got tickets left. That's yep. on Friday night. Not and many though. Melbourne is on Saturday. The first ever Loogies. Yes, oh, very excited. I'm getting chills just from thinking good. about it. You know what? That's I, something people uh, tell their grandkids. Uh, where where oh, were yeah. you when the first ever Loogies were on? And if you can say. Yeah. I was there. I was there. They'll be like, no way. Screaming fog bit. Yeah. <laughs> and they'll be like, you fucking what? <laughs> Did you hear it? And they'll be like, yes, I heard the fog bit. And they're like, oh, mm. tell us, Grando. Tell us. Tell us. Oh, Grandma. Mm. Oh, tell us. And you'll be like, kids, take a seat. And you'll be on your rocking chair going. So, there's a fetish called, ne- <laughs> called nebulophilia. <laughs> and that's too much. I'm not, that's too that's much all I'm giving them, right? That's all, that's all I get. But then, and then three minutes later, the kids are going to be like, oh, my God, we just got fogged. And it's going to go down in legend, kind of like those you know Greek what's mythology good about, stories. What's good about the fog bit is a lot of a lot of jokes. Uh, I would say that most jokes that comedians write, they and can't not be as good. They, well, yeah, and they can't be told by other people. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like so often you'd be like, "Man, I saw Jim Jeffries. He was so funny. He had this one bit." And then they try and, and tell it, it. And it's I do that all the time. Funny. Like I'll be telling. We, like, we do it to other people's yeah. jokes, and, and we're and, comedians. And I like, and I'll be telling like my girlfriend, like, "Oh my god, think about the funniest bit tonight." And yeah. then like I'll tell her the bit. And she's like, "That sounds kind of funny." I'm like, "No, it was so funny." Yeah, I'm just butchering it because I've heard it once, and then I'm half remembering how it went. The yeah. fog bit is a thing that. You hear it once, it will stick with you forever. And you can tell other people and they will think you're the funniest yeah. person ever. But c- can we say, mm-hmm. at the moment, let's just keep between us. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm. Uh, let's not go around it's a secret. telling people the fog bit, right? It's yeah. just a, it's a thing that is, uh, you know, it's one of those things where you, if you're there to watch it, mm. then great. And yeah. then you hold that memory and that's all you take away that's from it. Get. I don't think it should be one you're sharing at recess with your friends. Or mm. in Really, it's a gloating thing. You should be like, no, I heard it and you have it. You've got to hear it live. Mm. Yeah. Now, Luke, I uh, am in an interesting predicament with our live shows because, as you know, both of us are going to perform stand-up by ourselves beforehand, yeah. maybe about 15. You just finished the tour. I just finished the tour. Do you have any material? I have nothing new. <laughs> Like, I have some ideas that I'll yeah. probably try, but I don't know, am I going to do... I can write you some new shit if you want. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing a comedy special next year. Yeah. So maybe I should start picking through my best 20 minutes ever. I mean, that's that the only way you in the may special. even get close to topping the fog bit. Is if you do oh, I'm your, not even trying to, to yeah, top, top cause if you Yeah, because you'll have to do your best shit. Yeah. Otherwise, you, oh, mm. <laughs> good luck. But I think uh, that's what I'm going to uh, have to do. We decided the order. So Keelan's opening, right? Yeah. Ke- Keelan uh, opens. Opening. Uh, definitely for the first show. The and other shows, we'll see. I think you're going to have to go first because I don't. Um, and How that, about and this? No, that's me, no, no, this is me throwing your bone. Yeah. I don't want you to have to follow the fog bit. How about this? Every show, rock off. See okay. who goes first. But <laughs> you'll be fucking hoping you win, so hey you mate, get to choose to go first. Hey, mate, don't underestimate the power of the 15-minute bit about Hitler if he was gay. Ah, the people want fog, man. That's what they want. Gay Hitler's coming for you, and he knows what to do with a bunch of gas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty good. That was a good one. Um... <laughs> Now, quick, because we only we, we only have uh, about two minutes left of the show. Uh, what's audio drama? It says on the whiteboard, audio drama. Oh, that's right. While I had Keelan and, and my brother, tour manager, hostage on the final drive of the tour, I decided to play them an audio drama, um, a Warhammer audio drama, uh, which is like a 40-minute play in audio version, like a movie, but it's only audio, like they used to do on the radio back in old-timey days. Like... Wasn't the original War of the Worlds like you know yeah. think about and people thought it was real? Yeah, right. Like that, the, the alien. It's like an story. audio book with sound effects and and music, basically. Sounds cool. Yeah, and lots of different actors. Play and by that. cool, I mean like for you, it's not Warhammer, so that's actually pretty cool. Mm. I guess <laughs> no, it was Warhammer. Oh, it was a Warhammer audio drama. Oh, I take it back. Yeah. Okay, that's probably almost lamer than painting them. I would say it's definitely lamer. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because they also cost like 20 bucks to listen to for an hour. <laughs> oh, <what? laughs> For an hour? Well, you've got to think about it. It's like they got to hire actors and sound designers. It would be expensive to make. Hey, my comedy special is 10 bucks and that took me three years. Yeah, but you know, you get what you pay for. Um, <laughs> <laughs> True. It, do, it's a, it doesn't have the fog. It doesn't have the fog. <laughs> uh, now, I have some terrible news, Luke. Keelan really enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to bring him some books. 
next episode. Yeah. Yeah. You like the story? Do you yeah, like the Yeah, it was I really liked it. I really got around it. Story, universe, feel, theme. Yeah. Feel. S- sound. Yeah. Feel. Yeah. How did it how did it make you Just feel? The vibe. I liked it. It made me spooky one. feel like I was watching Lost in Space, the Netflix series. But instead I was imagining it in my head. Right. And do you reckon you <laughs> both were imagining it the same? I guess that's kind of the way you interpret it. It's kinda of like reading. What did you, you think your the main image? character looked like? I, c- I don't know. I can't remember. But I, yeah. Did you listen to it? I did, I did listen to up? it, but I can't remember. It was remember in the car. Right. I had them yeah. trapped. They had to listen to it. Right. And you know what? They were so not excited for it. They were, both of them were like, oh, this is going to suck. I can't believe you put that on around <laughs> other people. Because, like, that's a thing. I wouldn't even listen to podcasts mm. in the car with other people. I'll just chuck on music because it's like, oh, we're talking. Well, I picked one that was cut into three 20-minute chunks. So, so I'm like 20 minutes at a time and I gave them a chance to bail out. And no after one, the no first one 20, they didn't want to bail. No, after the second 20, they were all in. At the third one, we were all at the end. We were like, yeah, she got him. I was like, yeah, we don't have any um, drives, but uh, maybe in the future... Say if we ever went on a tour, right, where we drove mm. together. Mm. You have to listen to one. Then you can do a oh, that's the only time I'm ev- you're ever putting me through one is yep. if we're like maybe Trapped. like seven hour drive between two regional towns. Yeah. And okay, you're that's on. The only time I'll ever listen to one is like four hours in. I'll be like, fine, put it on for twenty. I'll give it twenty. Yeah. All right. Can right. I make that Deal. one step better? Yeah. What if we all choose a audio format to no, listen to? Don't listen to Carl and Jackie O. Okay. <laughs> I already knew what you were going to suggest. <laughs> I didn't even know what I'd pick because, like, I'd want to pick yeah, something that I just like podcasts that you'd probably like. That's what like I. That's Canadians what I mean. Like, you don't listen stuff. to anything like uh, weird or unique. No, that maybe a normal person would not like. Oh, like a normal person wouldn't like what I listen to. Like, I'll listen to like serious podcasts about comedy, like comedians oh, talking about like their early shit. life and. Stuff like that. Like, I'm really interested in that because yeah. I'm like, oh, that's like me. I'm an upcoming, you know, I, I yeah. just started comedy and they talk about their first 10 years in the biz. Yeah. And I feel like a normal person would be like, yeah, look, I. But I don't think there's like much comedi- risk of a normal person hating that. But most people just like comedians being funny. I yeah. really like listening to like comedians Serious shit. to talk about yeah. the, the business side of it and yeah. stuff like that. Mm. So that's, that's kind of the lame thing I'm into. But yeah. that's not that surprising because I'm a comedian. Yeah. Um, Very relatable. I also listen to stuff with like athletes doing that as well. And I don't particularly, you know, do running. I ran lots yeah. and then I got faster. Yeah. And now I'm old. Yeah. So I can't run as fast. That's, yeah. Every story ever. Every story ever. <laughs> and all, all those ones where like, I got injured, I could have made it. You know, those guys. <laughs> but, but then. But now I have a I podcast. Didn't. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's good. always that. It's like yeah. everyone who has a sports podcast is a failed athlete. <laughs> I could have made it. But now I just understand the stats. Yeah, well, maybe I'm going to have to pick something incredibly shit that's going to that's gonna torture you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> like a, a fail, like I would have a podcast about comedy. I could have made it, comedian. but I never topped the fog bit. <laughs> <laughs> People will come on and tell stories like, oh, I remember you, mate. I remember yeah. the fog bit. You call it the fog cast. Yeah, it's going to go down. <laughs> and I'm like, talk, uh, I'm like, I don't know. The intro will be like, you know. Cutting through the haze, we bring on guests, mm. and it'd be like just a bunch of fog puns. Yeah, that would be good. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to pick a shit piece of audio that you guys are gonna hate. I'll get thinking on it. We'll get on it. Great, cool. All right. I might just check on this podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're planning to go a bit over, but uh, that's that's all we have time for, guys. That's the whole episode. No, I was thinking before we wrap it up. Mm-hmm. Uh, there, let's let's wrap it up uh, tentatively, mm-hmm. temporarily here. Yeah, but we'll be back in a few seconds for you guys because i think we need to go uh but i wasn't late but we still didn't have time to re- do this beforehand um oh, you want to do some off-air planning no i think Is we that's do, rare we do need to do some off-air planning just yeah. because we need to tell people who are coming to brisbane and sydney shows this week uh, a little bit more about the oh, live that's event. right this was such an what important episode this was a really important episode yeah. okay. we'll, be, we'll be back in <laughs> three seconds for you guys 30 minutes later for us see you then probably more like 40 bye <laughs> Wait.
we're back. So what we have here is we have a little bit of a show agenda for you guys for the yes. Luke and Lewis tour. Tickets still on sale, lukeandlewis5.com. The tour is this week, the 29th, 30th and 31st is where we're kicking off. Brisbane's already sold out on the Thursday. Sydney, still tickets left. Melbourne, obviously the awards night, still some tickets left that as well. Very close to selling out though. You know what uh, I've been the first seeing? first ever loogies. Everywhere, been seeing lots of comments from people living in Brisbane. Devastated yes. that they missed out on tickets. Do not. And you know be what that, that makes person. me think? Mm. Ha ha. Should have got them earlier. Should have got them earlier. Or, or, yep. Unless you had a good excuse, you know. And no, no mercy. Oh, so what about if you, um, they're. They didn't have 30 seconds to type in a URL. What about if they line? couldn't afford it? Ah, uh, well, we. Well, yeah. I mean, sorry about that one. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis Spears. Dick. <laughs> hey man, when I, I was broke, I was broke as, and I was like, oh, can't afford that because I'm broke. Yeah. That sucks. Mm. And, you, and then you go, ha ha. Yeah. <laughs> now I uh, now I climbed out of that hole, it's good being and on everyone the other who side. was still in the hole going, throw down the ladder, throw down the ladder. And then instead, I poured in gas and chucked in a match, like burn, <laughs> take that, the poor. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yes, uh, you have missed out if you're in Brisbane. Um, but that's it. That's the game, you know. Uh, Sydney still some tickets left. Melbourne, the first ever Luke and Lewis awards night mm-hmm. the loogies first annual yep. so it's going to be the first one that and you don't want to miss it it's one no. of those ones where it's like we just where were you yeah. yeah yeah obviously we already said that but it i cannot honestly cannot stress the importance that was going to be good oh yeah we just actually wrote down like a bunch of segment ideas a bunch of things planned all going to be great this and, that, and also special guests then it's the weekend after adelaide and perth mm-hmm. adelaide will be the end of year party starting and to fill the up the smallest show the smallest show so far, starting to fill up a little bit, but yep. also still got a lot of work to do, Adelaide. What's really good about the Adelaide show is finally, thank God, two weeks before the show, we mm. just ticked over, oh, this is going to be awful. We just passed that. Just passed that. So it's that. not going to yeah. be it's awful gonna be anymore. It's not going to be gimpy level stats. No. But it might be uh, Adelaide level stats. Yeah. Which sucks. Yeah. Usually. I don't know. I feel like Adelaide's going to surprise us on the day, as always. Yes. They're all going to buy their tickets. They uh, better. I would appreciate if you guys and didn't. Perth Kick-Ons is looking like a rager. Yes. People are excited about that. Also, there'll be a few special guests that show, mm-hmm. Perth show. That's right. Uh, and, uh, yeah, get excited for all of them. But uh, what can people expect coming into Brisbane, Lewis? Brisbane. That's the opening ceremony, right? Oh, the you guys have seen opening. the Olympics. That's what everyone looks forward to when the Olympics. Well, the Olympics is oh, on. fuck yeah. <laughs> Can't wait to see the opening ceremony. Two hours of interpretive Woo! dance and people walking with flags. Yep. Oh, you're a you're a guy who does shooting for a living in archery. Yep. This mm-hmm. is your one time to get on TV waving to a yep. bunch of people who don't know who you are. Everybody loves the opening ceremony. That's what we'll be doing. 100-meter dash. <laughs> Get out of here. Yeah. I want to see some people with flags spin see, around. I want to see Usain Bolt walk. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I want to see. Walk and wave, man. Get all this <laughs> running shit out of the way. Um, so that's going to be good. We so have, we're probably going to do the uh, history of the show. You yep. know, every country, if they're hosting the show, would do like their 100-year or 200-year history. And they go, look at all the things we've done. Carnivals and carnivals. And, and China's and like, oh, we, we haven't done any war crimes. Oh, yeah. yeah. We China, don't do any of that. China admitted a lot of yeah. stuff in mm-hmm. the uh, Beijing Olympics. Olympics. They were like, oh, let's leave out that shit. But uh, Hey, we, what about paper? We invented the wheelbarrow. Yeah, right. That's good. <laughs> and, and you know who, who we put in the wheelbarrow? There were a lot of bodies. <laughs> but mainly. But also, yeah, it's a bit of a flawed design, let's yeah. be honest. Uh, <laughs> uh, so we've got uh, the opening ceremony organised. Uh, we've got a bunch of things. Yep. Now, as you know, the Olympics, they've got the eternal flame. Mm. For us, a bit unrealistic to have a, an eternal well, flame. We, just, we have to fly between places and we can't take an eternal flame with us on the flight yeah how do they get it around the world our boats and they oh they run it around for months before they run it around we've left it a bit too late for that we have we we were going to organize that but we forgot about it um but we can quote luke can we bring matches on a plane no No. you can't (laughs) it's fun but what we do have the temporary flame. And it will be lit <laughs> first and yep. it will run throughout the duration of all our live show. Yep. Uh, now, maybe a candle or a bar- Prop, Almost some, definitely some a candle. Some people will think, isn't that a candle, guys? No, That's it is the, the temporary, temporary flame. flame. Yeah. Yes. And, and, and I if, would and say. And if you refer to it as a candle, get crumb, crumb, crumb move, get out. Uh, I, <laughs> anyone who calls it a candle will be <laughs> evicted, no <laughs> refunds. <laughs> Forcibly. I, I second that. Yeah. And Keelan's going to police it. That's right. If he sees any, He's bringing a bat. 
any <laughs> any candle chat, yeah, do not be expected Evicted. to be thrown out of the show because it is the you'll temporary be taken out plane. of the show, loaded yeah. into a van that's parked in a disabled space yeah. and driven away. <laughs> Uh, and really, Eternal Flame, boring. Everyone can see it. Temporary Flame, it's temporary. Limited time only. Yep, and it or will excited. be lit for the first time. We'll have the... Oh, it'll be lit AF. It'll we have the official lighting, and that is not one to miss. Yeah. Or well, you're already going to miss it because Brisbane sold out. But uh, uh, We're also going to do Thoughts, new Thoughts segment. Is that going to be in Brisbane? Yep. Brizzy. Ooh. And uh, we're also going to do Celeb Spots. So also, live. if you're coming to that Brisbane show and you think you've got a good thought, mm-hmm. come with it planned. We'll be opening. We'll be our first live thought. So yes. we do want to get we people in the room's thoughts. Live. We'll have a roaming mic. Yep. Uh, so if you if, get ready. If you have a Celeb Spot plan, uh, we'll, are we doing that at Brisbane? Yep. Celeb Spots, Thoughts and Crumb of the Month. Okay. Well, what segments are we doing? When, 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 Geez, they're getting three great segments in opening Sydney, ceremony. In Sydney, I wish I could tell you some of the segments, but they involve some secrets. Oh, so true. There's some secret do, stuff planned. Can't tell you all. The, they've got a lot of stuff. We are doing admin, right? But we've decided... That's the only thing that's planned. We have decided after a long time, after a lot of heated debate, mostly between the two of us and everyone who listens and is coming to the Sydney show, unfortunately for us, good for you, it's not going to all be just admin no, at Sydney. We are going to, <laughs> however, there will be admin because it's the business mm-hmm. capital of Australia yep. and we need to get shit done at some point on this we tour. We did fight for two hours we haven't, We've admin. been putting off admin for ages on this <laughs> yep. show just so we can get shit done live. We were fighting for two hours of admin. Apparently, people didn't want to people pay like, for oh, that. People paid for This is bullshit. Oh, fucking hell. Do you not like efficiency, all right? Evicted. Ridiculous. Yeah. Get out. I How bet do you they even afford tickets if they don't like business? I know. Ridiculous. Well, City hasn't sold out yet, so maybe that's the problem. Could be the problem. Too many well, people who maybe don't now that respect we've, admin. Now that we've said that there, there's only going to be a little bit of admin, maybe sales will jump. So, sales are going to skyrocket. I, yep. I don't think there's many left for Sydney. But uh, also, one thing we can promise, yep. and it's uh, mm-hmm. annoyingly a fan favourite segment. Yep. Look, let's be honest, it's it's a guilty pleasure of ours. Yes. Uh, there will be a live Keelan's meal and oh, yeah. at the Sydney show. Yeah. He's already he hasn't told us. He's already been. He said I've already been writing down my meals uh, and what I've been mealing this week. And Keelan's going to get that from Friday to Friday. Here's something he said to us. We were like, oh, "Are you writing everything down?" Because we don't want to know, but we're yeah. making sure he's writing everything down. He goes, "Yeah, I was at Coles buying something today, and I thought, oh, people are going to think I'm doing this on purpose." <laughs> <laughs> just looked at what he had in his hands and was like, I'm a monster. I like that this segment is almost making him a little bit self-aware. Not enough to stop yeah, his diet, yeah. but definitely Thinking self-aware enough it. to go, oh, this is fucked. You guys but I'm going to know what I'm getting for lunch after this? No, no. we don't want to know because we <laughs> want to find Friday. that out in Sydney. Um, and we're also doing admin and we have a very secret thing that we won't tell you about. But Very that's exciting. Very and you exciting. don't want to miss it. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then Melbourne uh, to finish off the, the first The night leg. of nights yep, it where it all goes down. The loogies. <sighs> it makes me smile thinking about Official it. Official awards night. And it's, uh, it makes me proud to think of obviously we're mm-hmm. celebrating a great year. We're going to be celebrating great achievements. We're also going to be uh, acknowledging bad achievements. Mm. We will, the, one of the awards is the crumb of the year. Yep. Uh, which is, uh, look, there's obviously people who can maybe suspect who might be nominated. There's a few few uh, regular people in the show who, yep. are, you know, it rhymes with Bicken and Pimp, and mm-hmm. he's a fucking shoo-in at this point. Yep. But, you know. You never know. You never Someone know. Someone could swoop in. There's could, still a few shows left. Exactly. Someone might come in. I mean, you know. I mean, they'd, at this point, they would have to bulldoze Luke's house I'm, to really top the I amount mean, of the I mean, I reckon Keelan's recent like disabled parking saga oh. you've really outed yourself it's a little bit as a crummy. crumb it's a crummy That's thing creepy. to do it's not creepy it's, profi- it's sufficient we said crummy crummy i thought you, sorry it's not creepy oh, i thought you said creepy. kill's brain doesn't work yeah, <laughs> the creep of the year <laughs> <laughs> creep 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 oh, you would win year. that for having sex yeah. on the beach <laughs> oh. <laughs> Um, so Sorry, we've got a bunch of awards. We are still open to award ideas. We're actually going to v- open up public voting with next episode. Public voting awards will be uh, best guest. You can mm-hmm. vote for who you thought the best. Who we're going to have links to post Who's the episode. nomination so you can have a think about it. Best guest, Radio Mike, yep. Rory Lowe, Andrew Schultz, and Friendly Geordies. Those yes. are all of our guests so far. Have a think about which ones you've enjoyed the most and because uh, you'll be able to vote for them and it'll be your decision. Yeah, this year obviously a bit light on in guests because we've only had half a year. Mm-hmm. Next year, you know, 
Should be a lot more. The people. show's really underway now. Yeah, there'll be a, it'll be a real fight for it, and we do have a, a prize plan for yeah. that. Very special prize, and uh, also. So that'll be an audience photo one. Is yep. there another audience photo one? Also, there is only going to be – there'll be one award. We will decide this later that will just be voted for in the secret sound off. Yep. It'll be uh, – that's how that award is decided. Yep. Um, you know, because we want our sergeants and senior sounders and secret sounders having some input on the loogies every year. Of course. And, um, yeah, uh, obviously, the- and we trust those people because they're sergeants. Of and course. we'll be saluting them as they're voting. Um, we have best segment. Uh, now, this is something that you guys will have to think about a lot. We've written down this all another the segments. another audience voted one. There's two audience yep. voted ones. Two, two audience voted. There's best guest and best segment. Yep. The best segment nominated are Keelan's Mealins, Mike's Hikes, Business is Exposed, mm-hmm. Crumb of the Month, Koshy's Columns, Check That Off, Celeb Spots, Mike Goldman's Instagram Likes, and Thoughts. What about it? Maybe some other stuff we forgot. Did forgotten. you have Koshy's Columns in there? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Cool. Great, because that's, a, I that's, reckon, a real fan favourite. Well, I mean, that's how you learn how to make money. So. Exactly. <laughs> so, But uh, d- don't worry about what we think. Was Mike Hikes in there? Yours, yes, yep. unfortunately. Yeah. Um, Unsure the why. Of, don't know if they should be. It never happened. It never happened. Yeah. It was a segment. It did have mm. an opener. So it had all the had all the uh, elements yeah. of a segment. But in the end, was it? <laughs> Not sure. It's debatable, so it's going to slide in. Maybe yeah. every vote for Mike Hikes counts as a half vote. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. Um, uh, and then we have other awards. We've got Best Editor, Most Mistakes, Best Dressed, yep. Crumb of the Year. Best Dressed will be on the night, by the way. Now, yeah, that brings us... Be, you, you guys will be eligible for that. That's uh, If you're coming on the night, then uh, and that, I guess that's one of the perks... That's all that we'll reveal ...having so the far. loogies in your city. Perhaps in other years to come, we'll do the loogies in different places. Mm-hmm. May not even be a city. We might go to Antarctica one year, host the first Maybe. ever Arctic... Best Dressed Eskimo. ...loogies. Yeah, and Penguin might be in the running for Best Dressed. Mm-hmm. But uh, this year, it is in Melbourne, and the dress... Dress code is very simple. People are getting a little bit caught up in it. There's only one dress code. Oh, there's the- no dress code for any show except for Melbourne. I would like Brisbane, Sydney, fine. Wear whatever you want. Melbourne, yes, but also Adelaide. Can we encourage party attire? Yeah, party shirts are very party. encouraged. Yeah. Not a dress code, heavily encouraged. Yeah, suggested. But there is a dress code for Melbourne and it yeah. is quite simple and it's quite strict. Yeah, very strict. Black tie event. Now, Lewis. does that mean I have to wear a suit? I'm glad you asked. It does not. It's strictly not a formal event. Ah. It's a relaxed event. It's then for loogies, What's dude. up with the black tie thing? Can you explain it for me? Because I, I have a small brain, even though you've already explained it many to times. You right now. Yeah. Lewis, black tie event means simply yeah. wear a black tie. Do you need a collar with that black tie? God, no. Who the fuck keeps calling me from Sydney? You Who? gonna pick it up? Hello? <laughs> That's so disrespectful. Lewis Spears? Yep. How are you, Lewis? I'm good. How are you? I'm also good. Thank you for asking. You just take your time. I'm calling from Marcus, actually in relation to your online order. Oh, this is a legit one. I'll answer that later. I thought it was a scam. <laughs> you just if up. it's a legit one, you just hung up on I'll handle bit. it later. Whatever. <laughs> That's about that thing we got with the internet. <laughs> oh, cool. Is yeah. that Optus? Yeah, cool. I don't know. I'll call him later. Great. I'll be getting a lot of scam calls. Um, so, yes, black tie event means not formal, don't need to wear a tux or a mm-hmm. suit. Usually black tie, I get the confusion. I do understand it. Usually when people say black tie event, it means... I will say, we have been stepping on you guys for your lack of understanding, but <laughs> to, in your defense, very confusing, very confusing thing for us to say. Black tie event means, where, for example, I could wear exactly what I'm wearing now. Mm-hmm. I could look like a cotton on JJ's model. Lewis could wear his Nike tracksuit as long as he's wearing a black tie. It can doesn't be even have head. to be around my neck. It can be around his head. It can be wrist. around his head, man, wrist. Yeah. All right, any black tie. You can wear it backwards for a week. Arm um, like Rambo. I would like to see someone with their black tie just hanging down the back. Black tie cape. <laughs> Cape's good. You could be wearing a full suit with a black tie. You still need to incorporate a black tie somewhere. Yes. Maybe tie the tie to your tie. If you're wearing a suit without a black tie, we'll be like, what the fuck? Get out. Mm-hmm. Th- if you're wearing a, a suit event. with a black tie, I want to see another black tie. Yeah. <laughs> Double black tie Double event. black tie. You can wear as many black ties as you want as long as... because you know, we As wanted, long as your privates are covered. We just wanted to keep it a little bit classy. You can mm. be wearing a man candy in a black tie. That is... No, you can't. You will not be permitted entry if you show up with a man candy. I'm not going to stop you, but the I venue will. might. The venue will, yeah. <laughs> um, Excuse yeah. me, sir. This is an all-ages event. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> That's true. Is it, it is all all, ages? I think Melbourne is. I don't know. I don't know if all of them are, but Melbourne is. But uh, yeah, get your ticks, wear a black tie, and uh, get ready for the biggest event of the social everyone's social calendar. Yeah. Is it marked in your calendar, Keelan? Yeah, it's marked in mine. Yeah, it's marked mm. in mine. Is it marked in yours? Uh, yes, it's marked because we in share the same calendar. Great. It's 
a good app. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so we want to see you there. And that's it. Yeah. LukeandLewis5.com. The two is this week. We're very excited that mm-hmm. we even get to do this with you guys. It's the, cool. We're not really making any money out of this tour. You don't realize. Very expensive to fly three people around the country, but on quite small all venues. All of the tech. We're filming all of the we're shows. We're filming as it well. all, right? This is not a really a money making exercise if you haven't mm-hmm. realized. We just want to do live shows and celebrate the end of the year with the people who support us the most. So we'd love to see you at a show if you're a fan of this podcast yep and uh for all We're of the excited. people who are international we are going to try our best the the goal is we think this is possible we're going to release the shows as they happen so yep. next week this you'll get more shows than normal you'll get three in a week next week hopefully will be the hopefully. three live shows from this week brisbane sydney and melbourne but that's a lot of editing for keelan to do we think it's possible but it is keelan so we'll see Oh, it's just not fair. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, the video should be out. Should be. We think we, we no, think Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. That's whatever, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah, the three. We A's think next that's week. possible. Um, but we're going to try our best. And we'll be working overtime to get those turned around. But hopefully, it's possible because uh, mm-hmm. we'll be we're filming them a little bit more high quality, couple of angles. We want yeah. the loogies to be shot in pristine condition. Yeah. Um, and also because that's going on Netflix, of course. <laughs> we are, or probably not the first annual one, but we'd like to have a good quality. So when we eventually sell them the uh, series, we can yeah. give them the, the whole Lug- back Lug- catalog. Series. Yeah. yeah, it's good. Um, or just I'm assuming they'll want every loogies that's course, ever existed. That's the biggest and event the first of the year. one will be one for the archives. Yeah, it'll be sure. a real event. Mm-hmm. And um, just because, by the way, we're uploading, we're uploading the live podcast. Um, the live shows will be just more than the podcast. So if you think, oh, fuck it, I'm not going to go to the live shows, we're, there's going to be like 40 minutes of stuff oh, yeah. before the Luke live and I podcast. I doing stand up beforehand. Stand that we up, won't be recording. Keelan's doing his set, which won't be on the podcast. Yeah. Um, there'll be, we've got some live stuff planned just mm-hmm. for the people on the night as well. So we'd love to see you there. And uh, yeah, we'll be meeting everyone afterwards. Saying hi in uh, Adelaide. We're still looking for a place. If you know a venue that will take a look at the moment, not that many people, it's fine. But let's say a venue that can take a hundred people. Space for four. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but like, if you know someone who owns a pub or like, really, we can go. We just want an after party. We just want an after party place. We mm. don't care where it is. We can go to a nightclub for a week here as long as they're happy to have a group of 50 people and rock up at once. don't send us a link to their website. If you know the person who runs the yeah, bar, hook tell us them, up. hook us up, right? okay? We know that bars exist. We have Google Maps just like you. Yeah. You want hookups. Don't go, I know this place. I, I also know bars in Adelaide. I've been in Adelaide. I just want to know if you can, like, have a hookup. If hook you walk up. down the street in Adelaide, you've seen all their bars. A place that's not going to be mad if you can go, yeah, here's a place that we really, what we want, it's a place. That are expecting us. Uh, expecting us, that's yeah. it. We want people who are expecting 60 people to rock up or something like that. Yeah. And uh, depending on how many people want to come. And otherwise, uh, we'll see you guys at the shows. Bye. Salute. Oh, hang on. We just got to salute our sergeants. <laughs> ah, true. Check them out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? Sorry. Oh. That was really rude. <laughs> My bad. Sorry, sergeants. <laughs> hang on. Is that, do you reckon that's enough? 15 seconds left. Oh, okay. Great. Oh, okay. Well, we oh, thank you. Just saluting. Thank for you. their service. Oh, there you go. Ooh. Oh. Boom. What a legend that one was. Yeah, amazing. He, oh, I love that, Sergeant. Great work. Thanks, thanks, Sergeant. Good, you're doing good work. Aye, aye, sir. I, I salute David Rowe. Good man. On you, Dave. Keep rowing. <laughs> All right, are we done? That's it, yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs>